Hello and welcome. I'm GeoSam, your GIMP know-how guy. And in this video, uh, this is going to be a quick tips, a GIMP quick tips video on brush organization. And uh, the, the way I used to uh, organize my brushes is I didn't organize them. And I'll just show you an old brushes folder. If I come down here to GIMP, this is my old brushes folder. I had copied the uh, GIMP, my GIMP profile and saved my old brushes. Now in this folder there's over 2,000 brushes. For me to find anything within GIMP would have been uh, very difficult at best. Uh, so I found that it's, it would be better to just um, create folders and place my brushes in In, in a folder, and I'll show you the, the way I organize it now. Go to my GIMP user folder. This is in GIMP 2.8, so the location will be different, but this is now what it looks like, which is much more organized. Each folder has a specific name, and each folder has specific brushes in it, especially like this brush would be hard to find. A three by three dot. Even the view on extra large, the brush is tiny. But anyway, that would be difficult to find within the GIMP dialog. So we'll come here and I'll show you right here, up here in this portion of the screen, you'll see this button here. If you click this, it'll open up this dialog. Right now I have clouds selected, so uh, to clear that, I just click on it once and it should clear it. There it goes. Now say I wanted to select that one dot brush, that 3x3 that three three dot brush that I showed you. All I need to do is click on that, hit enter, and there it is. Easy, ready to use. Now if I say I wanted to go and I wanted to say, look for a lightning brush, instead of Instead of going through the dialog and looking for a lightning brush like this, I could just come up here and select lightning, light burst, or let's see, do I have lightning? Do I have any lightning brushes? Possibly, but I don't think so. Let me see. Uh, no, let's look for light beams instead. So there's all my light beam brushes. Press enter. And there you have all your light beam brushes. Now say I wanted to uh, select, press enter, clear that, press enter, and it should go back to the normal dialog. Say I wanted to find stars. There's all those stars. Now there's many more stars than that. So I would come down here and select my stars brushes, hit enter, and there are all my star brushes ready to go at, at a moment's notice. Great for workflow. Anyway, put your brushes in folders and they'll, they'll show up here on this dialog. And to clear the dialog again, you just press, click once and it will clear it. And as you see, it, it has none as a tag. You can also tag brushes down here. If you wanted to say add a tag, say like this here is under a GHI, but you could also add it under birds you put a comma it's in the GHI folder and it because it's an animated brush as you can see it's a flying bird and this one is also a G it's a, a silhouette of a flying bird but you can add a tag and I say let's say I wanted to put it in bird in a, a tag bird so I would write type in B I R D bird comma so like now it's under bird. It's under the tag bird. And if I go to the dialog here, you'll see bird. And there it is. If you want to just eliminate a tag, just go to the dialog. And I use the backspace to delete it. Press enter and it's gone.
And that's about it. Anyway, put your brushes in folders. Much easier to find. Instead of having your brushes, pasting them individually into the folder. Put them in folders. Okay, let me open. This is the old br open, open brush as image. No, you can't. That's a copied brush. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. <laughs>